And, and what these women are doing, they have a rotation of guys. The guy will say, oh, I'm coming here this week. She's getting prepared for the guy that's coming over. And what she'll do is she'll fall back from the other guys, you know, not really talking to them as much because now the guy, you know, one of the guys is there in her face, right? And, and, and it rotates and it rotates. She got a group of five guys. You were asking me, yeah, so you were asking me, like, is, is Columbia safe and, and are people kind of overhyping the, the danger? Mm -hmm. So, so this is what I will say, right? So for the most part, Colombia is safe. And when you look at like the crime rate between the United States and Colombia, like it's such a vast difference, right? Like, you know, in the United States, you don't have to worry about somebody who may be mentally ill and just going up like to random places and just randomly like shooting and deleting people, mm -hmm. right? You know. In, in, in the United States, you have to worry about that. In Colombia, that's not going to happen. Usually, if there's a beef, it's because like two people know each other and they have a beef. Most of the crime, most of the crime is typically petty crime, right? Like, um, like, like, like a purse will get snatched, or if you are in a four-way intersection and there's a guy on a on a on a on a motorcycle and you're not paying attention, you're looking down in the middle of texting. He snatches the phone and drives off. Like you got to think, okay. Like the average height for um, a male in the United States, I want to say, is about five nine, right? And the average height for a Colombian man is about five six. So they don't, they like, they don't want to be confrontational. Like they, like they're not going to want to fight. So it's mm -hmm. a, it's a lot of petty crime and stuff like that. Now, when it gets to like the scopolamine and you know, um, the, the, the druggings and stuff like that, guys are not doing their research, right? It, and, and, and what they're doing, you mentioned Medellin, they're going to one section of many, it's a section of a section, right? So like, um, Parque Yedis is a section of El Poblado in Medellin. So it's like this, like in New York, right? how you got all the five boroughs, right? So, and like, like uh, in Manhattan, you got Washington Heights, Harlem, and I would say like Medellin is like Washington Heights. But does that mean all of Manhattan is bad? No, that, that, that that's not what that means. But see, the thing is, is that people keep going to Washington Heights because that's where the action is so you could get easy access you understand what i mean um, so you putting yourself in, in 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 those precarious positions and then when you go on these dating apps and like you know the girl's like hey you know um i want to meet you can i bring my friend over and that's typically not colombian culture right like if, if a woman says oh hey can i bring my friend over and she's never met you before like and she wants to hang out like okay i get it you like hey as a man I, I, i'm about to have fun but that's not how colombian culture is right so typically a woman won't necessarily speak to you unless unless you come speak to her one or you get introduced to her by someone that 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 she knows so it's like a warm introduction or like if you're out and about and, and you you know you see her she's not going to come and address you like she'll look at you and give you the, you know like the like the choosing signals for you to come and approach her you know what i mean and, and again i'm talking about regular women i'm not talking about you know like ladies yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, cause cause ladies, yeah, ladies in the night they gonna come uh, they gonna come and approach you whatever because they want to get paid. But mm -hmm. a woman who's not on, on that type of time in Colombia, they they're not a, they're not aggressive like like women in Brazil are like how they'll kind of you know assert themselves. Colombia like no, they they're more like reserved. Like the woman will look at you and they will expect you as the man to come mm -hmm. and approach them. You know what I mean? So 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 that's how that works guys are putting themselves in messed up positions um and it's sad because these guys are not thinking 
like, hey, you have not only a responsibility to yourself, but you also have a responsibility to your family. Every time when you travel, that's that that's important, right? And it's like, okay, <clears throat> there was this. So there's two guys in, in in my apartment building the last time I was there, and I think I, I think I've said this to you privately, right? But what ended up happening was there was these guys and they just kept bringing like a bunch of girls from Park Ayetis and I kept seeing like the yellow cab literally like every two or three hours dropping d different girls off. Hey, you know what? Have your fun, be safe. That's the problem. You were having your fun, but you weren't being safe. You know what I mean? And it's like, so these guys got scoped. One dude got his passport stolen and he had to get flown out to the embassy, which is in Bogota, Colombia, you know, and then had to get a temporary passport so that he could get back to the United States. So the long, the long, the, the short answer is it's safe. It's just that guys do stupid stuff. That's it, man. And, and that's the thing, man, is that this is what they're not talking about in the media. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They always try to blame it all oh, the passport bros. They keep getting stolen. <laughs> that's what you get for leaving the country, goddamn. You should, you should stay in America and date the women here. Da, da, da. You know, they, they always pin it on that, man. But it, the thing is, man, I think these are just people that are going to Colombia that probably haven't really been out the country like that. There, there might be yeah. the weekend warriors, you know what I mean? They, oh, they, absolutely. You know, they don't really get much action here in America, so they go out to a place like Colombia where there's a plethora of beautiful women all around with them accents, right. the paisa accents, you know what right. I mean? Yeah, they yeah. speak to you and you get hypnotized. And also, the thing yeah. is, they, they hear these women talk and the way they look and the way they move and the way they act all feminine and sweet, right? And, yeah. you know, they're offering their rates or whatever the case is. And I, my, my firm belief is I think if you don't mess with with these working women or these type of women like i think you should be fine if you mess with a regular chick i, I as long as you you uh what's it called as long as you vet her you should be fine and that's just my opinion yeah no absolutely and, and i know we got a super chat and uh, we also yeah. got some comments in the chat but let me just say this because you have mentioned you have mentioned the the the, the beautiful woman and that's important because most guys nowadays are not getting noticed by the woman like even like even average guys are not getting average um not not getting noticed by average women right and and i had a conversation uh i had a conversation uh last week where i was on this podcast and we were talking about like how the the access to like average people nowadays with social media right because like like a, a Drake could slide in a woman's DMs. Uh, it, it, you know, it could be a country singer. It could be a rock and roll artist. It could be an actor. You know, and, and, you know who could just slide in like an average chick's DMs, right? And so, like, it, it, and the inflation of the ego, right? It was just crazy. So when you go to a country like Colombia, where most of the women are beautiful, and like, like a Colombia, like a Colombia six. In the United States is like an eight. So when guys aren't used to getting that attention and then the woman is smiling and they, you know, you think that like, you know, she genuinely likes you, you, you lose all your inhibitions because you so wrapped up like, wow, I can't believe this beautiful woman was talking to me when I try to like DM a girl like who lives down the street from me. Like she left me on red because, you know, she mess, you know, she messing with the she messing with the dope dealer who got the, you know, who got the, uh, you know, hundred thousand dollar Porsche. You know what I mean? And, and you know, and, and I got a nice Toyota Camry. It's good. It's reliable. But I ain't got a Porsche. You know what I mean? So that's 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 the vibe, man. So when guys go over there and they're not used to getting that, they get hypnotized and then they get hypnotized. You understand? No facts, man. You're dropping gems again, man. And I, I think people are getting too drunk overseas. They're they're not they're they're too trusting of some of these girls with their drinks and all that. Yeah. So so uh, we were just talking about red flags and stuff like that for a bit. So let, let's go over some more red flags. What are some other red flags when it comes to dating or a woman in Colombia? Uh, an, another another red flag is when is when she is when she starts asking you for for money. And she, like, if she says like, oh, like her mother is sick or uh, her grandmother is sick, <clears throat> you know, when, when, and when she starts like to do that, like, 
No, because what will happen is it's like, uh, like, like I've, I've seen this happen with a lot of guys and a lot of guys like who I have consultations with. It's it's almost like like you could just you could just tell like, all right, like this guy has been through the same thing. Like, OK, for an example, right, a guy will a guy will pay the girl's phone bill. Maybe her phone bill is about 10, 15 bucks. Right. You know, no sweat. OK, but then what ends up happening Oh, you know, I need money for food, you know, 30, 40 bucks, right? Then a um, few weeks later or a month later, oh, you know, my, my grandmother's sick. She needs medicine, you know, 75 bucks. Um, oh, I'm late on rent, you know, maybe a hundred bucks, 125. But you see the elevation. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is that you, as the man, you started the domino effect. So it's like the, the more that you get that, like, okay, you know, what's it called? Like the inch to, to a mile or whatever. Like, yeah. yo, like you give an inch and then now she's going to inch an inch an inch an inch. Next so thing you know. like she's testing the waters in a sense. Yes. Yeah. She's testing yeah. the waters. Right. Because like, you know, 15 bucks, you're not tripping. But now. But now, like, now she's got you on the hook because, you know, w once she gets that 100, 150 out of you and you start paying it, right? And then, like, if you tell, like, now you start to tell her no, and then she's going to be like, oh, I'm more, you know? And then now she's going to be like, oh, you make me feel bad. And you know what I mean? And now she's guilt tripping you. And then now, you know what I mean? Like, you're paying, you know, 150, 200, you know, $300 a month, right? And you start adding that whatever like do say oh well you know i got it but no the whole point about it is this right this is why billionaires stay billionaires and this is why rich dudes can end up broke there's a difference so what i'm trying to say is that no matter how much how insignificant you think that money is it adds up it adds up because you keep doing it right you know now you're paying 300 a month for two years three years four years five years whatever you know what i mean like it starts to add up and it's like a car payment <laughs> yeah yeah exactly 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 you know what i mean so so now it, it's like it, it adds up and then like okay let's say you drop okay let's say you drop the one girl and you meet another girl and it happens again and you know now you want girl three or four but who's the common denominator it's you because you are the one that keeps you keep you are the one who keeps enabling and and you're not setting boundaries guys don't know how to set boundaries because again they get so enamored with the beauty and and, and the woman being like so feminine to them and 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 you know catering and and, and loving on them and, and essentially what these women do they love bomb and these guys like it because they getting their ego stroked. They also getting their stroked. You know what I mean? So like, they like, all right, you know, like I'm, I'm gonna come out my pocket, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know. And then next thing you know, hook line is sinker because the L of the money starts adding up. You know, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, thirty dollars, fifty dollars, seventy five, one hundred, one hundred twenty five, one hundred fifty. You know what I mean? 200, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And 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 what these women are doing, they have a rotation of guys, right? So, like, the guy will say, oh, I'm coming here this week. You know what I mean? Right? So now, you know, she's getting prepared for the guy that's coming over. And what she'll do is she'll fall back from the other guys, you know, not really talking to him as much. Because now the guy... You know, one of the guys is there in her face, right? And, and and it rotates, and it rotates. She got a group of five guys, so she's getting. Let's say she's getting three hundred a month per guy, right? So what's three times five? That's fifteen. So she's getting fifteen hundred dollars a month for not doing anything and living in Colombia. She living good, dog. It's like a business, man. It's like they Yo, it, it, it is a business. It, it, it's a it's a finesse business. It's a finesse business, man god damn but I, that's crazy man like ah damn but but here's the thing man like 
Because I, I was about to ask you this, man. So, <clears throat> yeah, like, I lost, almost lost my train of thought, man. God damn. <laughs> I'm just thinking about these. You got caught on the like you blew my mind with this information, bro. Because, hey, 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 listen, hey, listen. They do it in the DR too, man. They do it in the DR. Yeah, too. I, I don't think it's something exclusive to Colombia. It's probably nah, something that happens nah, all it, around Latin America. Oh yeah, no, but you know what? It, it's not even. It's not even just Latin America anymore because you got because you got guys going to um. Excuse me. You got guys going to Africa. You got guys going to Kenya. You got guys going to um. Tanzania, you got guys going to Ethiopia, Ghana, so uh, South Africa, like like it's happening, it's happening like across the world, like because if you you if you as a man are not focused like on on, on your purpose and not able to to read through the BS, you gonna you gonna get man, listen, you are gonna get in that trap. Because the thing is, man, you know, when, when you get that good, good, and then next thing you know, like, to you know, she she taking out, you know, from your wallet. Oh, I need this. I need that. You know, I need my Wi-Fi. You know, I need my hair done. I need my nails done. You know what I mean? I, I need X, Y, and Z. You know, uh, I live with my mom. You know, my mom need, you know, X, Y, and Z. You know, I got my little brother, my little sister. You know what I mean? And 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 these women will have these guys on a hook. And, and it's a rotation of, uh, uh, of, you know, anywhere between like three to like ten. And 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 and, and the better she is, and the better she is, the, the the bigger her roster is. Trust me, trust me. This chick is like Thanos. She got the Infinity Stone <laughs> of steps. <laughs> 